Okay, here's an update on the VEX mechanical wheel drive. As you can see, all four VEX wheels are installed. And I'm going to use uh, a Spectrum, what's the number, the DX7 um, transmitter. The wire hanging out there, I'm using a, a LiPo battery because my um, battery pack that came with it is kind of on, on its last legs. So let's try to see if we can control this Mechanum robot. We'll push forward to go forward, back to go back, and sideways to go sideways. And uh, angle forward and angle sideways. Oh, and I can't steer and film it with one hand, so I'll need to switch hands here and see if I can rotate it as we move forward. It doesn't quite have enough gumption to rotate in place. But if I move forward and rotate at the same time, sometimes it'll rotate. Ah, oh, it's not doing very well. So it could definitely be improved with encoders because as it is right now, the motors don't realize how slow they're turning when it's at third speed or something like that. Um, let's see if we can get this to rotate. Well, now we're all gone to linoleum. Okay, that's a bad attempt at rotating. But it can ro drive sideways just a bit underpowered. But I'm wondering if encoders would make it, give it at least the illusion of more power or at least, you know, use the full power at low speeds so it can uh, drive at low speeds with more authority. So anyway, but that's it for now. I, I'm actually pleased with how well it is progressing. Oh, I don't think I showed you any of the details on the robot. Let's take a look here. We're using a LiPo battery as the power, the two cell. And we're using a little Spectrum um, receiver. Here we go, here's the Spectrum receiver. It has a number, I'm sure. AR something. AR. I can't read it through the lens. I'll tell you what it is. AR6100 is the receiver. Um, it plugs into the breadboard here. The breadboard is actually on the back of a prope propeller protoboard, and I just added some headers around the side of the breadboard that brings out the pins of the propeller chip. And we have the radio receiver plugs into the breadboard, which then has um, resistors, 10K resistors, plugged in to the breadboard and then into the I.O. pins on the um, on the side here. And these are pins, I well, can't read that, um, 0 through 6 is what it's using because I'm using uh, Jason Dory's um, re um, RC receiver object and that particular object needs, requires that the pins be the first 6 pins. I think that's, let's see, any other updates you want to know about? I just have the propeller board upside down here. I have it actually covered with tape so you don't accident, so it doesn't short things out, but there's wires underneath the, the red tape there. And I think you are updated. Let's see if I can get a, pitch, a picture of the set screws there. There's a, there's a set screw. Yeah. Okay, that's it for now. I'll probably next step probably add encoders.